Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Jo here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the foods that I buy to help me increase my protein intake and also increase my muscle mass. One thing I wanted to kind of just jump in and say quite early on in this video is that I shot it last year. So you will notice that it was shot in my old kitchen, but all the foods that I'm showing you, I still eat. It's, it's useful information. It's evergreen content and I thought instead of letting it go to waste I would still use it and share the information so if you enjoy the video if you find it useful please don't forget to like it comment down below some of the things that you are looking to incorporate in your diet and of course share it with other people that you think will benefit from it as well enjoy hey guys welcome to my channel it's joe here if you're new thank you very much for stopping by on my channel i do all things fitness lifestyle vlogs bit of this bit of that i am a growing youtuber so it would really mean a lot to me if you could hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying the content and become a part of a family if you are already used to the you already know the drill Let's get straight into it. In this video, I am going to be talking about some of the things that I have been eating on my fitness journey to help gain these muscles. And I guess just to, to live in a bit more of a caloric deficit. In this video today, I'm not going to ramble too much. I'm just going to show you some of the things that I've been eating to gain muscles or to grow my muscles rather that are high in protein and that have helped us on our journey so far. So I'm going to show you that life is not just about broccoli and spinach and kale. Okay? First of all, let's go shopping. running errands at the store I've got myself some food I'm just going to show you some of the things that I've got that are on the table behind me in addition to some of the stuff that I already had in the house that I eat on a regular basis or have been eating throughout this um, I guess journey or plan or what have you now the main thing that I want to highlight in this video is that it's it's number one not a diet it's not like a crash course or like a fad or anything like that. This is very sustainable living if you're tracking well and if you are intentional about what you're eating. It's not meant to be super restrictive. I hope that you watch this and think, oh, that's doable. You know, I don't have to starve and I don't have to live off celery. So let's get into it, shall we? Right, so the first thing I'm showing you is some chicken. We get through a lot of chicken, and actually we didn't mean to buy this much. Um, both Etain and I went out and bought chicken breast today. But chicken is a great source of protein, and uh, especially chicken breast fillets. Um, I am much more of a drumstick gal. I love my drumsticks, but it's not as protein dense as the fillets. So I've been having fillets, and I usually chop this up into pretty much anything. Like um, Etain just has these in the oven season with his sweet potato fries or something or I make them into fajitas. So you can also put it into a curry if you want to. You can have also some pasta. You know, the possibilities are endless, but I love chicken. Now moving on, I've got a selection of fish and ironically this time around, I didn't buy salmon, which I usually get. I've got two cod fillets here, which are great for protein, as you can see, green, green, green. And I've also got some haddock Billets. I love haddock. I've never had the smoked ones before so I thought I'd give it a try because I've had quite a lot of salmon lately and salmon is quite high in fat but I mean it's healthy, it's good fat. 
one thing that I use to track and find out what I'm actually eating is by turning on the back and actually just reading what they've written. So on this, I'm getting 22 grams per half of the pack. So, you know, there's two of them in there. So that gives me 44 grams of protein, which is pretty decent. Obviously, this is not all I'm going to eat. I'm also going to have it with maybe some potatoes or some bulgur wheat or something. So 44 grams is pretty good. Next, I'm showing you some prawn cocktail mix. I like having these two together. I went for one that was like full fat and one that was the, I guess, reduced fat version. I think it's because of the cream. Prawns are a great source of protein. I also have regular, regular prawns here as well, um, which I wouldn't put into the prawn cocktail mix. It's just another thing I make into meals. And I have some seafood sticks. So what I usually do is combine all of these into a bowl and have it on some toast with some seeded bread so you know carbs are not your enemy you need carbs for energy so i just go for the healthiest option i can find and i really like the seeded loaf that i get from aldi moving on we have some lean diced beef this one's from aldi and for the past week and a half or so maybe even two weeks Sainsbury's has been out of stock in the lean um, escalope or escalope, escalope <laughs> steaks. So I picked these up instead of the steaks. These are, um, what, I think it's 700 grams, yeah. 700 grams and 100 grams alone gives me 23 grams of protein. So there's a fair pack and a punch. So I, I could just have this as a stir fry with some peppers and have it with a bit of bulk of wheat or what have you. You know, it's beef. Just do with it what you will. Moving to the back, I've got some bulk of wheat, which is a very good replacement or substitute for rice. I still eat rice. There's nothing that I've completely ruled out, if I'm honest. Bulk of wheat is just a healthier alternative. It doesn't taste that different. I quite like it. So I have this one as my carbs on the side. Eggs, glorious eggs. We get through a lot of eggs in our home. I don't really care if they're caged or if they are free range, that's 30 eggs in there. Always, always stocked up on eggs and eggs, of course, are a great source of protein. Moving on, we've got some spinach, which is neither here nor there. The thing is, spinach is great for protein. However, you have to eat tons of it for it to really make a dent but it's a great filler and it's a great source of fiber as well so spinach i will mix into my eggs and have green eggs on toast which is great my sister very disgustingly blends spinach and drinks it with, as a smoothie yuck got some avocados avocados are not protein rich they are actually quite fatty but they are healthy fats which is great and i like to have them on toast and like I said, this like video is not to be all restrictive and say, oh, you can't eat this or you can't eat that. It's very much about being able to watch what you're eating, track what you're eating, make sure you download my fitness pal and have healthier meals. Now moving on to the snacks. I discovered these in Sainsbury's. I think they're the only place I've seen so far that sells them. They are basically like crisps but they're made of pork. So in my mind, it's kind of like having smoky bacon crisps. They are only 30 grams per pack. Sorry, I'm just waiting for it to focus. 30 grams per pack, but Lord, do they pack a punch. So out of 30 grams, I'm trying to find it, 21.9 grams is protein. So this is absolutely like, you just hit a gold mine with these. They can taste a bit overwhelming after a while, but for me, they are a fantastic snack. I get my protein in, I get my munchies on. Um, they're slightly more pricey than the regular crisps, so one pack is about 90 pence, but I just do it anyway. You know, I would spend more than that on sweets, so hey-ho. Next snack I wanna show you guys are these Grenade Carb Killer High Protein Low Sugar Ice Cream. We haven't tried these yet. We just saw these in the store and thought these would be nice to give a go. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll taste these and let you know if it's worth having or not. Also, apologies for my jacked up nails. 
I'm sure that's not why you're watching this video, but I just thought I'd throw it out there. Next uh, are these protein bars by a brand called Fulfill. Now, ordinarily, I find protein bars quite dense, quite nah, yucky, but these are quite nice. These are nice. I, I don't mind them at all. They are about 120, 140 calories and they have 15 grams of protein, which is a great snack if you're trying to build your protein and also not lay off the chocolate. So it's a nice halfway house. Now, the reason why I've got a whole pack, usually they retail for a pound 50, but when I went into Sainsbury's, yeah, I buy them from Sainsbury's by the way. When I went into Sainsbury's, they were on the shelf, on the clearance shelf for 20 pence. And I was like, wait, wait, huh? You've got to be kidding, 20, what? So yeah, I took the whole, <laughs> took the whole box. Um, next are some protein yogurts. Um, these ones are from Aldi. They're called Brookly. They come in different flavors. This is the vanilla one. There's the strawberry one, which is my favorite flavor. There's also raspberry and um, what you call it? Uh, passion fruit, I think. Now the thing with these is, usually protein yogurts can be made from quark or actual like yogurt yogurt i don't go for quark because it's way too dense for me this yogurt pot is predominantly soft cheese which i can stomach it's still quite dense so what i do that helps me stomach it is i stir it for a while to soften the texture if that makes sense because it's quite dense i just kind of stir it round and round and round and then it gets a bit softer and then it just tastes like normal yogurt and it doesn't have that like super dense thick texture <laughs> next is protein powder we have 100% whey protein isolate in the vanilla flavor this is by a brand called applied nutrition now this uh we purchased quite recently and we're nearly uh, let's say we're a quarter down what we're getting there and i think we got it two weeks ago um, this was from Holland and Barrett. We usually get our protein powder from um, my protein, but the flavor we wanted, I think it was either out of stock or something. I don't know, maybe it wasn't on sale. So we went and we got this from um, Holland and Barrett. I personally don't really like vanilla flavor of anything. I think it's very bland, but I'm getting through this. I much prefer the whey isolate from my protein in white chocolate this does pack more of a punch though in terms of protein per scoop than my protein powder i usually have like two scoops of this which gives me about just under 60 grams of protein now i say usually it takes a lot of cajoling <laughs> it takes me a while to finish it i'm just not a massive fan of protein um, shakes but I know that they're a uh, necessary evil for me it doesn't taste bad I just ugh, it's just the child in me that's like I don't wanna so that's mostly it for the protein side of things I've shown you chicken eggs fish prawns beef um, I've shown you some bulgur wheat some spinach my snacks now on this side are uh, more of my carbs so obviously you can't just live off protein and you absolutely cannot remove carbs from your diet because you need carbs or this um what do they call that thing keto ketosis is the rubbish you need carbs right so i have these sweet potato fries that are great as like a side with my meals if i'm having chicken or beef or whatever sweet potato fries same way i would have bog wheat on the side um Italian really likes sweet potato fries. I typically prefer wedges, so I tend to have those as well. Next are these grains from Aldi. They're called Good Grains. There's the French-inspired lentils. Um, they're pretty decent. I like those. Barbecue beans, I love these. I get through these pretty quickly. And they're also they're quite, you know, quite good for protein. So it's high in fiber, high in protein. They're pretty good. I haven't tried these ones yet, red and white quinoa, but I bought it anyway, we'll see. And then we've got some fruits. Fruits are a nice treat. Obviously you need fruits in your diet. 
Mango is really high in sugar, but you know, at least it's healthy sugars. Um, and these packs are not particularly like bad in terms of calories. It could be worse. I have stopped buying juices from the store because they tend to have quite a lot of sugar in it and quite a lot of calories, but I'll happily munch on these instead of having some Haribo's. I think that's it. Right, so that's basically my food shop that I've just done quite easily today. It hasn't taken very long, as you can see. There's not that much food, but you can do a lot of stuff with the ingredients that I've bought. Another thing that's really important to help with your muscle growth is water intake and sleep. Sleep helps you like rest and recover. And you know, when you're working out and you're lifting weights and doing whatever, there's a lot of stress on the body. Helping you sleep and helping you recover will aid in your growth. Water, mm, not really the best of friends with water, I'm getting there. But something that's really helped me with my water intake is squash. We drink a lot of Vimto in this house. I have a little bit of Vimto, like one part Vimto and then three parts water. I can easily get a litre and a half to two litres down my throat in a day. I'm trying to think. I think that's largely it. The main things that are missing from this video are the steak, which I've shown on the screen already, and um, my wedges. Oh, and there's a salad that I really like from Aldi. I discovered I really like Rocket. It's not high in protein, but it's a, it's a plate filler. It's a belly filler. Rocket and um, another kind of salad, which name whose name I've forgotten, but I'll flash on the screen. Once I mix those together, I have that with my steak, Mwah, chef's kiss. There you go, I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it has been also eye-opening for you to see that you don't have to be living and eating like a guinea pig or a hamster for you to you know, be healthy. There's lots of different ways that healthy look. And also make sure you download My Fitness Pal. Don't let it scare you. It scared me for years. I used to download and delete and download and delete it, but now I'm a lot better with it. I track my weight on it, I track my calories on it, I track my protein on it, it's been really, really helpful. So, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, follow me on social media. I have a whole different um, Instagram account for my fitness called Call Me Sporty Joe. Please follow me on that page. I do post more regularly than I used to. And um, obviously there's my main page, at JMOTG, which is there for every other thing lifestyle i do post some fitness stuff there as well yeah so please share like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll catch you in my next video bye